Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel again. It's been exactly 16 days since I published my last video on YouTube and I've not been as active as I normally am or as enthusiastic as I normally am about making YouTube videos. And I'm going to go into a few reasons why in this short video. So first of all, you may or may have not known that there was a big announcement from Ezoic and the world of social media went crazy over it. And I was particularly singled out in a lot of those tweets and Facebook posts and Reddit comments about actually being an affiliate for Ezoic. And I actually took quite a lot of personal flack over the actual company and the affiliate program and my association with it. So I just want to first of all touch on that and I'm only going to briefly touch on it because I think there's a bigger picture going on with Ezoic and I don't actually think we've heard the end of what's going on so I'm going to kind of hold my final judgment for a later date. But basically let me tell you a little bit what's gone on. So Ezoic suddenly out of the blue emailed all their affiliates and said that they was cutting the affiliate program. My initial reaction to that was, okay, that's fine. I know, you know, economic climate, maybe the affiliate program's not working. I do know some people was really signing up some kind of terrible websites and some terrible customers. But some of us out there had quite a large customer base. I'd signed up hundreds of really good niche websites to Ezoic, and I could tell that from my earnings. So I was a little bit taken aback by that decision, but I, I got it, I understand business, it's absolutely fine. What I didn't realize with them doing the affiliate program is that the lifetime commissions that I've personally been working really hard over the last four years to build up was going to also stop. My initial reaction was, okay, stop the affiliate program, but don't take away all that hard work that we've already done. I thought they would have said, you know, you can't promote the program, there is no program, don't promote it anymore, but you'll keep what you've already earned. A lot of companies do that and um, they didn't. And that shocked me and that actually got my back up a little bit. Now, I've learned in business, I've been in business now since I was 18, so 30 odd years. Uh, I have learned not to try and overreact. It's uh, a trait that never goes well. Often your emotions and your passions come out rather than your common sense. So I tried to withheld my judgment, which is the reason why I brought this video out quite a few days after their announcement. But I did react on Twitter a little bit and I probably shouldn't have done. Now, one of the reasons I reacted on Twitter was through the personal comments that was coming my way and also to some other fellow affiliate marketers and YouTubers where we were singly being called out and being called some quite, you know, nasty comments and nasty names like, you know, you're a shill and you're a fake guru and you're all idiots. There were lots of comments like that, which I found personally quite hard to take because if you look at my YouTube channel, you know, you look in the description, it says, I share my journey. That's all I do. And I've done that from day one. I've showed you inside my websites. I've even showed you inside my income reports and bank accounts. I've even showed part of my tax returns. I've even given websites away for free to my audience. I've revealed my websites. I've done public case studies. I've never said buy my course or, you know, earn thousands of dollars in a minute and click this button to be rich overnight. I've never been like that. I've always just said, this is what I'm doing on my day-to-day -day life, right from day one where I knew nothing about what I was doing right up to today, which I still don't know half of the stuff that I'm doing, but I'm just learning each day and I just share what I'm doing with you guys. And I know the majority of my audience, and I have to remember this, are absolutely brilliant and you totally understand that. But unfortunately, I did react to about 1% of the community that um, was calling me out personally. So it wasn't nice, I must admit, for about four days, the attacks was quite personal. There was a lot going on across social media, but you have to remember, I'd also just lost a big chunk of my income. Now, I don't want anybody on this video you know, to feel sorry for me. I've done very, very well from Ezoic, but I did instantly lose a big portion of my income. Now, I've also lost income from other affiliate programs that 
I've promoted over the years because the economic climate or competition has increased. So overall, my income had gone down considerably. So I was in a bit of a fragile state, panicking a little bit about, okay, you know, I really need to look at my business in a general, plus trying to fend off all the comments and attacks from social media, which were affecting my brand and my, you know, personality. And that's something I've worked really, really hard to try and keep intact over the four years I've been doing this. So it was quite a tough week to deal with. So one of the comments I also want to address is somebody said, let's see if these fake gurus like Carl Broben still push Ezoic after the affiliate commissions have gone. Well, of course I'm gonna still push Ezoic. I'm still gonna recommend them because I don't know any other alternative. That's the whole reason I signed up to the affiliate program for Ezoic. I didn't know a better alternative for making display ad revenue on a site that gets less than 50,000 sessions. So that, that's around 65,000 page views you need to go onto another ad network provider. So what is the alternatives out there? There's a lot of people that say it on Twitter, well, you don't run ads until you've got 65,000 page views and get on Medivine. That's fine for them to say they are already on those companies. They are already successful and been on the larger ad platforms for many, many years. And, you know, they've been doing this a long time. But what about you guys? What about the beginners who just need a few dollars to come in each month to grow their website? Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Are you going to miss out on thousands of dollars while you spend that time building your website up to 65,000 page views or 50,000 sessions? Of course you're not. Why? Why would you miss out on that money? So the only alternative I saw was AdSense. Yes, there are a few other ad network providers. Monumentum, I think it's called, is another one. I've never tried it, so I can't promote it. I can't recommend it. I only recommend companies that I use. I even took a website because my audience wanted to see if moving a website from Mediavine to Ezoic would be detrimental. I even did that as part of my journey, just to show you guys what would happen when I took a website from Mediavine and to Ezoic. And total transparency on that, I did lose some income doing that, but it was only because I was paying for the premium service on Ezoic. The money that came in was about the same the only difference was I was having to pay a couple of hundred dollars each month for the premium service. So overall, I was a couple of hundred dollars down, but it was a great experiment. And actually doing that got me part of Ezoic and I was able to test everything that they offer. And just to make my point clear about my involvement with Ezoic, basically Ezoic had a group called EP3. It was everybody thought it was some secretive kind of cult or sect that we joined. It was basically just a beta testing group. That's the way I looked at it. Ezoic would ask us once a month to jump on a call. They would show us all the latest technology and the projects they were working on. They would ask us to test it and give them their feedback. And for doing that, we got paid a fee. Now, I was, felt quite privileged to be invited into that circle because I'm not an experienced, you know, SEO expert or anything like that. So I was really thrilled that they was happy to take my advice on board. And whatever I learned, I shared with you, whether it works or not. Some of the tools they have work, some of the tools don't. I produced videos on some products that I use and some tools that I thought was good, and I didn't publish videos on other, like Flickify, I think they do, their video making tool. I think that is terrible. I would just rather use Canva. So, you know, you don't see me saying, hey, this is an amazing tool, just because I was getting paid. If I didn't like it, I just didn't recommend it. And we were not being paid to make Ezoic look good. We were only paid to show and beta test what their services and products were to see if it was fit for purpose and ready for the marketplace. That's all we were paid to do. If as YouTubers, we wanted to share that with our audience, it was up to us. We didn't have any contracts to say we had to do that. We didn't have any contracts to say, you know, we have to say good things about Ezoic. We basically just beta tested for them. So basically that's the whole Ezoic thing. Goodness knows what's going on with Ezoic at the moment. I have a good relationship with the team at Ezoic. I will still be recommending their service because like I say, I don't know any better alternatives. And for all those people out there that's saying, you know, there are better alternatives, what are they? Show me, tell me what these alternatives are. And if you say not having ads on your site and going for affiliate products, 
that will not suit everybody. Not everybody wants to do affiliate products. A lot of people just want to make money passively from display ads. So what should they use? AdSense? Ezoic definitely earns more than AdSense. Now, I hear a few people saying that at the moment, AdSense earns as much as Ezoic. Well, I'll test that. I'm gonna take ads off of one of my website and I'm gonna stick AdSense on and I'll tell you. That's the only way I can prove it and you know, quieten these people down in the comments that say stuff like that. Many people just use speculation, things they've heard, things they've read on Twitter. I test, I test things out so I can honestly say, no, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, I tried that. That works. They're right. So that's what's been happening this last week. The other reason I've not been on YouTube right now is I kind of don't know what I want to make on YouTube. You might know that I recently did the 30 day video series where I did a day in life of an affiliate marketer. It actually lost me subscribers and I made half the money I usually do. So normally I put about two or three videos out per month and I earn double what I did making a video every day. So it just kind of threw me a little bit and I kind of lost my way with YouTube. I'm about to have a couple of weeks off, going to uh, Gran Canaria uh, for a couple of weeks, family holiday. I'm gonna reset my brain. I'm going to defrazzle uh, my social media head because it's all over the place at the moment. And I'm gonna think about the processes and what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna come back even stronger. The final reason why I've not been on YouTube and you might like this one is that I've really been focusing on my travel websites. I've been working frantically. We're trying new processes, we're trying new tools, we're trying new social media like Pinterest and YouTube, we're trying content clusters, we're doing a lot of experimenting. We're also seeing a lot of success with backlinks. Now, a lot of people hate the topic and the subject of backlinks, but it is really, really working. Uh, they're expensive, don't get me wrong, but they are really, really working. So I'll bring you news on that. As always, it's just my journey. I'm just sharing it with you. I have no courses. I have no membership subscriptions or anything like that. You don't need to pay me a penny to listen to the information I give you, whether you like it or not. And I must remember that the percentage of people on Twitter and Reddit that was basically slagging me off is very, very small. 99.9% .9 of my audience is wonderful and I still want to make content for you guys, still share my journey with you and hopefully you find some value in it. So that's it. I will no longer be talking about the topic of Ezoic and what went on. They have made some redundancies in the last few days as well, which I'm shocked about. Some big, big redundancies and some big changes. A lot of people I knew at Ezoic personally, and I do feel very, very sorry for them. I know the industry, the IT industry and the tech industry in America is suffering really badly, and I think it's only gonna get worse. So my thoughts and prayers are with those people who lost their job. You know, we're coming up to Christmas very soon and they're out of work. So I have to look at the bigger picture. Yes, I lost thousands and thousands of dollars each month, but I still have my job, they don't. So my best wishes to anybody from Ezoic who's lost their job recently and may be watching this. If you are a member of Ezoic and you are still employed and you are still watching this, good luck. <laughs> Your reputation has definitely suffered, but I do still think you have a really valid product. There's a place for it. You have a product right in a marketplace where nobody else covers. And I think you will still continue to do good. I think there's just some changes you need to your process, your tools, your setup. Your core business really needs to be looked at in detail. And I think you're still gonna do well, but I think you've got a long road ahead and I wish you all the success with that. But yeah, let's answer those gurus. Will I still be promoting Ezoic? Even though there's no affiliate product, of course I will, unless you guys can comment below and tell me what a better alternative is. So that's it for now. I will see you in a few weeks when I get back. I will try and get my income report out to you before I go. The travel website is doing really well. Lots of exciting things to show you on that. And that's what I'll continue to do. Show you inside my business what's working and what's not. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye for now.